Hi there. Today we are touching on final walkthroughs. We have a lot of people who ask, a lot of buyers who, and a lot of sellers too, when they're preparing for closing, who ask, should I do a final walkthrough and is it necessary? At the end of the day, what we always say is yes, you should always do a final walkthrough. We have had people who have waived it. We have had people who have played it out in a couple of different scenarios. Ideally, the buyer and their agent is the one who is walking through the property within 48 hours prior to closing. Final walkthrough is when within 48 hours prior to closing, the buyer who is buying the property and their agent goes to the property that they are buying, walks through, and the agent goes through and turns on all of the faucets, makes, makes sure that all of the plumbing is working, all of the electric is working, all of the heat is working, the AC, again, all permitting if you bought the property without those things in working condition, then obviously that doesn't apply. But if you bought the property under the notion that all of the HVAC, heating, plumbing, electric, cooling was all in working order, you're going to go through and as long as it's not winter, when you can't test the AC, but if it is winter, then obviously testing everything else, you're going to make sure that everything is in good working order. You're going to make sure that there is, are no new defects with the property that were there when you went under contract and when you had an accepted offer. You're going to walk through and the outside and the inside and make sure that everything is removed from the property for the most part, unless you have been, you've worked out with the seller that they might have more time to remove it. And technically the seller doesn't have to have everything removed until closing. So you might go through your final walkthrough and see that there are still some boxes there as long as it's reasonable and you can tell that you know everything will be out by, by the closing time, then that's acceptable and technically the seller has until that closing, if you're closing at three o'clock on a Friday, until three o'clock on Friday to get all of that out. So the only times where personal property usually comes up is if you're walking through and the, the whole house is still there and it's you know a couple hours before closing, that's very unlikely that they'll be able to get an entire house emptied in an hour or two closing so that's the only time the personal property becomes a concern the other part that I'll point out to this is that not all buyers are able because closing is not always hard and fast known until a couple days or a week before not all buyers are always able to attend a final walkthrough physically so in that situation we recommend that your agent goes through virtually or that you have ideally that buyer has representation from their family or someone else there with their agent representation as well so that there are still two bodies there on behalf of the buyer walking through and confirming the condition of the home the other thing that i will point out is that there are times where we have had like i said bank owned properties properties that are in, con in a condition where we don't expect working plumbing or we know that it might be an issue and we've agreed to that within the contract where we've had investors specifically or buyers say, you know, it's not necessary to do a final walkthrough, we still recommend a final walkthrough because at the end of the day, you never know what could have happened between now and then. There could be new damage that we want to make sure is not incurred. That I will say it is entirely up to the buyer whether they want to do a final walkthrough. We will always encourage our buyers to do a final walkthrough just to be safe. However, like everything else, um, it is up to the buyer to do that. But as a seller, I always, I always tell my sellers too, we want the buyers to do a final walkthrough because at the end of the day, we don't want something to get brought up after closing or at the closing table that could have been figured out, disclosed, and taken care of before that. We want to make sure that everything is the way that it should be and we don't want any surprises. So if you have any questions regarding final walkthroughs, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great week.